welcome to my channel in today's video I will show you how to do a perfect armhole since I have a video how to knit perfect set in sleeve cap and this is an armhole for it in order to show you properly how to do the edges smooth and correctly shaped I prepared for you the swatch real-time example it's about 45 centimeters wide 90 stitches and imagine we have uh, we have to now make the armhole I will explain you the theory and also I will show you practically so let's quickly get straight what do we mean by an armhole that is a measure in a straight line at the point where sleeve joins body at the shoulder to where the sleeve meets the body at the underarm so this is this straight line and if you look at the uh, um, drawing here it is this measurement here there is a standard formula uh, for calculating exactly how high arm hole should be depending on the size it's very easy it's your bust size divided by six and adding uh, 3.5 to 6 centimeters to this measurement or the same in inches uh, bust divided by six and you can add 1.37 to 2.36 inches to this result here there is a table I made, you can see, uh, if you need to look, you can visit my website, I will leave the link, as I said, in the description below, you can use this table, uh, here I put the numbers according to the formula, so as you see, uh, the bigger size gets, so to this smaller, um, this add uh, 3.5, and the smaller size then you add six to this measurement bus divided by six for example for the size small which here is 88 centimeters if we divide 88 centimeters by six we will get 14.6 centimeters and we add six and we get this measurement so the height of the armhole should be approximately 20.6 centimeters and this is in inches 8.11 uh, so if you are medium size so it will be 21.5 centimeters and if you are large so you add only 5.5 and it will be 22 centimeters and so on and so on this is approximate, I mean, it can go a little bit taller or bigger or smaller, depending on your pattern. So, but this is the average. You can get, um, start, you can start from these numbers. So, and now we come to the question, how many stitches to reduce for armhole? The width of the armhole usually is four to six centimeters if you are size extra small to small most likely you will have uh, four centimeters and if you are size medium large or extra large more likely five or six centimeters so by mean by how many stitches to reduce at the underarms here straight line from a to b so for the smaller size it will be four centimeters yeah for bigger could be six or even seven and as you see if it would reduce and bind off all the stitches at the same so let's say in four centimeters we would have uh, 10 stitches so if we would reduce all 10 stitches at once we will get square shape armhole but we need this smooth, gradually, gradual line. And if we divide in three sections, in three even sections, we see that the first section is pretty um, straight. It means like 
bind, binding off, you have to bind off very quickly in a short period of time. So, uh, second part is not so steep like here, it's a little bit smoother. So, it means you will have to decrease uh, amount, X amount of stitches in a little bit more rows, if you look. And the third part, as you see, we will have to reduce about the same amount of stitches, but over more rows to get this to get this line even smoother and not so sharp. And that way, we will get this nicely curved, nicely curved uh, armhole shape. In my example. I have five centimeters deep armhole. I need to reduce 10 stitches because my gauge is two stitches per one centimeter. And I divided 10 stitches by three, but we have a reminder and, and usually reminder, we add closer to this B. So in my case, it is four stitches, three, and three stitches, four, three, and three. So first round, uh, first part, we bind off at once. So we bind off four stitches. The second part where we have three stitches, we split them in one and decrease every second row. The third part of stitches, we also split into ones and we decrease them every fourth row. There is one little thing you should remember when knitting armhole for a second sleeve. It is to get your shoulder point in the right place. What do I mean? This is my linen top and I just wanted to show where exactly uh, should the shoulder point end. It should not be over should not be should not be too inside it should be exactly where the shoulder drop starts this is the straight line and if you actually you come and touch uh, your shoulder you will see there is this little jo joint when you move down your arm this is exactly the spot where your shoulder point should end. And an example is here when this rule was not taken into the account and the shoulder just is not sitting properly. It would be much better if it would go from here to here like this. And then it, the sleeve would fit much better. If you want to do something like this, then do the proper drop shoulder. And this shoulder point is sitting exactly where it has to sit because you see, this got like straight line at the shoulder and just when this shoulder drop starts, this is where the shoulder point should end as well. We are talking about this part. Now we know how high our armhole should be and how wide we can start knitting. It is optional if you are knitting stock in it you can add three stitches which are approximately one centimeter at the top to make it even more uh, anatomically correct fitting but you don't have to it's not necessary it's just for your information that is possible to do so. The other question is how to get smooth decrease edge and get away from ugly steps. This is actually a very easy solution. When you work towards end of the row, leave the last stitch unworked and turn the work. And now 
this unworld stitch becomes the first stitch not knitted it sort of slipped there we have the second stitch which we slip pearlwise and then we just pass this first stitch over and you will have beautiful decrease line without any steps so in my example i showed you these are the four bind of stitches this is the bind of every second row three times and here starts the bind of three times every fourth row as you see two three four and this way you get very smooth nice line so here we are with the practical part of the tutorial and what I really want to point is if you missed anything, you can come to my website. I'll leave, the, I'll leave the description below and you can find and read it again. So as explained before, now we bind off four stitches. Slip first one, knit and pass the slipped stitch over one, two, three, four. We bind off first part of the stitches and one go. And now we will just knit until the end. We are at the end. Pearl the last stitch and turn on the other side. And we bind off four stitches on the pearl side. Slip as to knit. And of course, accordingly, because it's the pearl row, we slip pearl and pass slip stitch over two. Three, four, and we purl until the end. So after binding of first part of the stitches, the second part of the stitches will be decreased by one stitch every second row. So we knit this row until the, until the end without decrease. So I'm about to finish the row and do decreases in the pearl row but in order to do this smooth line i don't need the last stitch i turn the work and now we will decrease one this is slipped stitch we also slip the second stitch and we just pass the stitch over and continue knitting until the end and do the same on the other side so we are at the end of the pearl row and we need to decrease one stitch the last stitch I don't need I just turn my work and I slip the next stitch and just pass it over so we decreased every like we decreased on the second row according to my calculations do exactly the same two more times and then the third part will be decreased every fourth row so i finished my three decreases every second row as you see when we bind off we have very steep 90 degree angle right when we decrease every second row, we have about 45 degrees angle. And now we are coming to the third part of the decreases, which will be every fourth row. So from last decrease, I will need three rows without decreases. And then I will do decrease three times. And this will create even less of a slope. And this way we will get this gradually nicely shaping nice shape 
of the armhole. So all my decreases are finished. This is how it looks. Uh, remember, we bind off four stitches in one go. Then three stitches we decreased by one every second row. This is this bit. And then we decreased by one stitch three times every fourth row. And this is how we get this nice smooth slope. And from now on, you just need to need the height, which typically is um, the armhole height is something between 21 to 24 centimeters, according to your size. Um, all the reference and guide is in my on my website blog post. I will leave the link below. Please feel free to visit. I will be very happy. And there are some little bit more details about the arm hole. And yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please press like button and subscribe to my channel not to miss any new videos. And this way I know that I will have to post maybe more videos about different topics. But until then, I just say goodbye and I see you in my next videos.